All right, so in this video, we're going to be discussing links, not like Legend of Zelda Link to the Past or anything, though I could play any of those Zelda games forever. We're going to be talking about links, the things in HTML where you click and then you voila, go somewhere. So at the top, I have Link already up here. Feel free to pause and rip that out or just go to the documentation material hyphen ui.com. And let's uh, let's make a link, and this is really easy. It's gonna be really short. Let's just do href Let's go to Google.com because that's where all the uh, cool cats and kittens go. Move that over a little bit. And let's see here. If we want to do an on click, uh, we could add one. I'm not going to, but maybe when you click a link, you want to fire something off that tracks where they go or where they're moving around. Sometimes it'll be a requirement by your boss or team to have analytics do something, or maybe even beyond analytics, there'll be just movement or actions you'll want to track, or maybe it's a new feature. Every time you click something, you want to fire something off that says, hey, they actually use this feature. It could be a zillion things, or it, it could be boring, it could be exciting, whatever, but the on-click capability is there for you, so you're aware of it. So let's close this off here, come in, and it's not very uh, aligned well. This is a link to the future. And we see we have this link to the future, future here. All right, what are some of the things we could do? Well, we could definitely add color to it. We'll come in here, we'll see that we could do things like error, which turn it red. What are some of the other things? I thought I saw primary, secondary, which is kind of close to the error. And then the other thing we could do is give it a variant. So let's do H1. Now we can see that this is a H1 element, but it is a link. So if we come in here and inspect the element, and we were to click on it right here, we would see that this is a div and that that's the element it's rendering to, but we could see that the typography here is making it in H1. So if I wanted to come in here and let's just say we did body one. This is closer to like your standard paragraph tag, but we could see that right here it says um, MUI or MUI typography hyphen body one. So it'll spit it out here's the div on the outside but then the link just turns into this right here and you get all these uh, classes being interjected in and this is links in a nutshell and uh, like share subscribe and i hope this was the most riveting part of your day